Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children, that's the last. Welcome to Dream Reader. Along with my many Earth Changes dreams, I have also acquired a substantial collection of extraterrestrial dreams in my journals. There are spiritually evolved species of extraterrestrials that are heavily involved with us through this transition and have been involved with us from the very beginning. This consciousness shift that we are currently heading through is a very big deal. Not just here on planet Earth, but throughout the entire universe. If this experiment is successful, it will have a profound positive impact throughout the entire universe. And if it is not successful, which is highly unlikely at this point of the game, it will also have a negative effect on the species that have orchestrated this experiment. So they are doing all they can do to assist us throughout this transition. I've heard many people ask, well, if we're not alone, then why don't they just show themselves? Why don't we ever see them? Well, there are humans that have been in contact with these extraterrestrials on a regular basis. But for the majority of us, they remain unseen because we are in a sort of quarantine here on this planet. We are coming very close to the conclusion of this experiment, and it is extremely important that we are protected and guarded and left alone to play out the final scenes with no interruptions that may instigate or contaminate the final outcome. This next dream was very recent, and it carries a powerful sense of importance with this current now time period. This is a dream taken from my journals on September the 8th of 2022. I was outside observing a group of people that were all gazing up towards the sky. I noticed a look of surprise, blended with a look of concern on their faces. It was obvious that they all were seeing something very unusual. But there was some sort of a roof type of structure over my head that prevented me from seeing the object they were observing. The scene changed. I was seated on a bench overlooking a long, thin patch of open fields surrounded by thick woods. It was nighttime. I spotted a light far off in the distance. At the moment I spotted it, as if to acknowledge me, the light source quickly shot in my direction and came to a sudden stop, about a hundred yards away and about sixty feet high. I felt a sense of exhilaration shoot through me. It was an oblong-shaped golden craft with an extended rim that wrapped around the center of it. Unlike most, I felt absolutely no fear, but rather an instant connection. The craft darted around the area a few times and then it suddenly shot in my direction and came to a stop about 40 feet away. I waved at it in a hopeful attempt to communicate. A golden mechanical arm extended out from the center of the craft and waved back. The arm then reached inside of itself, pulled out a handful of change, exposed it open-handed for me to see, 
and I instantly understood the symbolic reference behind that. And the occupants of the craft knew that I understood as I said, lots of change, lots of change. The hand then reached inside and grabbed even more change, as if to signify big time change. So what was it that everyone was looking at in the first scene of the dream? Unfortunately, I was not able to see what that was, but I have a pretty good idea. The scene completely changed after that first one, and I saw what I perceived to be an extraterrestrial craft. Obviously, that was a clue as to what it was they were observing. And another significant clue in the final scenes was the fact that the craft was a brightly illuminated golden color, which carries a very significant spiritual interconnection with this message. The dream was not specific as to exactly what type of change it was referring to, but I clearly felt a sense that the craft was referring to earth changes and to changes within our society as we are about to cross a milestone in our evolution with this great consciousness shift that we are currently involved in. As the new Earth transition approaches much closer, those changes will be forced to the surface with more and more intensity. And we have now entered into that critical time period. As I was writing the last dream scenes out in my journals, I stepped outside to take a short break after I wrote the words, Lots of Change. I'd been recently requesting synchronistic signs from nature over the past couple of days. And my reason for asking was just for confirmation purposes that all was well and all systems are still go for our new Earth transition. As I turned to walk out my back door, I suddenly noticed three deer standing in my backyard. I remembered what I've been asking, and since this is not a regular occurring event in my backyard, I thought about the curiously interesting timing of it. I've also experienced an unusual amount of synchronicity with cardinals over the past years, and at that same moment, a female cardinal flew down and landed on the ground just several feet in front of me, which is also way out of the ordinary, bearing in mind that cardinals are typically very timid birds. And it was at that moment when I felt that inner click of confirmation as if to corroborate that this is indeed a synchronistic moment involving those last three words I wrote in my journals before I stepped outside. This is a perfect example of synchronicity at work. I have seen it many times before over the years, along with the proof of confirmation that followed shortly after. And so I have no doubt in my mind or in my heart that we are indeed on the cusp of lots of change. Thank you.